another Parts Factory Australia installation tutorial video. Today, we're working on this Toyota Corolla. Uh, specifically, we're gonna be doing the sun visor. They can be a little tricky because of the design. They're not your conventional two screw. They are basically a little spreader clip, which I'll show you how to operate when we get inside the car. Now, before we go any further, guys, um, we do have this product available on our website. So if you wanna cruise over to partsfactoryoz.com.au, I'll put the link in the description of the video. You can check it out. I think they're about $88.30 with free express post anywhere in Australia if it's something you require. Alrighty guys, let's jump straight into the video. Alrighty guys, so we're here in the car now and as you can see, it might appear that there's a cap over the regular two screw design, but that is in fact wrong. It's actually a kind of push clip sort of setup. Um, basically this cap comes down and the little things push in, if you know what I mean. So that way, when the caps pop down, they push in, you can pull the visor off. You most likely don't need to know how to pull yours off because if you're here on this video, you're either missing like a tab in there and this sun visor is hanging off already, or you've got an issue with the actual sun visor popping down in your face. Either way, I'm gonna pull mine off and then we'll get into the video further. So what you do is you gotta pull it in each corner, one nice and gently though, because if you're too rough, then you'll find you'll actually snap it. And if you snap it, then you're in trouble. However, you'll be putting a new one in anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So I'll, I just have to be pretty gentle so I don't break this one. But see how it pops around the edges? Uh, it'll basically pop this cap down and the sun visor will pop out. If you can get in there, I might need to get my head up in there and see a bit better. And so one side's coming out. I'm bring it around this way. Just gotta get this side to move now. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, even our one in this car that I thought was perfectly fine, has also already been broken. So you see these little spreading teeth. You'll notice that it's got one missing on this side, one missing on that side, and half of it missing on this side. So that is the reason your sun visor will have issues if it's falling out of the roof. I'll demonstrate further. Um, if we push down on this one and get it to pop out, which is becoming a pain for me, flip it around and you can see hmm, it's quite oh there you go okay so you can see now see how all those teeth are very weak and brittle that is what happens with these visors so that's why we're here putting a new one in and um, as you can imagine it's going to be easy to put the new one in of course the biggest problem is having a good one which you could buy from us at parts factory so cruise on to the webby have a look and we will have Brand new is there for you, ready to go. Alrighty guys, so you got your new visor. It's obviously now time to stab it back up into the roof. You can clip it onto this clip on this side. It's just a push job. And then you just push that all those tabs up like that. And then the sun visor will sit there nicely. Alrighty guys, this video has been a short and sweet one. All I really wanted to show you is the design flaw in the Toyota Corolla sun visor. You can see those clips once they've broken that's it there's no going back all you can do to fix it is buy a new one but good news parts factory australia sells them for 88 bucks go to go to toyota you'll be paying three to four hundred dollars and waiting six weeks for the part so definitely cruise onto the website check it out smack it back in like i've shown you how to do and you're good to go guys Alrighty, my name is lucas Strabs. thanks for watching and i'll see you next time